Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. So the example we're going to be seeing today is finding square roots of complex numbers. And so in this particular one, it's find the square roots of 5 plus 12i. So what are we actually trying to find? We're trying to find complex numbers z that are the square root of 5 plus 12i. Okay, so we can square both sides here. And we get z squared equals 5 plus 12i. Okay, now if we let z equal to x plus iy, then here we can get x plus iy, all squared, equals 5 plus 12i. Okay, now let's expand this out. So we're going to get x squared plus 2i xy plus y squared i squared equals 5 plus 12i. Okay, and we're going to have x squared. This i squared is minus 1, so this here is a real number. So this is the real part here, and we're left with this as the imaginary part. 2i xy equals 5 plus 12i. Okay, now if you remember back to one of the previous videos, we learned that a complex number Two complex numbers are equal if and only if their real parts are equal and their imaginary parts are equal. So this complex number here, which is z, is only equal to this part here if these two conditions hold. The real part of z, which is x squared minus y squared, sorry, the real part of z squared, which is x squared minus y squared, is equal to the real part of this complex number, which is 5. And let's call that equation 1. And if the real part of, sorry, the imaginary part of z squared, which is 2xy, is equal to the imaginary part of 5 plus 12i, which is 12. And remember, once again, this is the imaginary part because it's being multiplied by i. These numbers themselves are real. Okay, and here we can divide by 2 and get xy equals 6. And then we can divide again by x and we get y equals 6 over x. And let's call that equation 2. Okay, so now we're just trying to solve these two equations simultaneously. So let's substitute 2 into 1 and see what we get. So substitute 2 into 1 and we get x squared minus 6 over x squared equals 5. So this is x squared minus 36 over x squared is equal to 5. Now we can uh, multiply through by x squared and get x to the power 4 minus 36 equals 5x squared. And then bring this 5x squared over to this side and get x to the 4 minus 5x squared minus 36 equal to 0. Okay. All right, now, we need to solve this equation for x. Now, you should notice that this is a quadratic equation in x squared. So, we can factorize this, and we're going to get x squared. Now, we need two numbers that multiply to give negative 36, and uh, add to give negative 5. So, this is just my way of factorizing. You might have a different way. I know there's a cross method. I never really understood that method well. So this is the one that works for me. So these two numbers are going to be minus 9 and 4. So we're going to have x squared minus 9 and x squared plus 4 equal to 0. Now remember the complex number was z equals x plus iy. And in that number, x and y were real. So when we solve this equal to 0, we're going to get x equal to i. But that's not a real number. So we're going to only use the solutions from x squared minus 9 equals 0. And so this means that x is equal to plus or minus 3. Okay, so when x is equal to 3, that corresponds, when we sub it back into 2, as y equals to 6 over 2, which equals, sorry, 6 over 3, which equals 2. And when we have x equals to minus 3, that corresponds to y equals 6 over minus 3, which equals minus 2. And so our complex numbers are z equals 3 plus 2i 
and minus 3 minus 2i. Or we can write plus or minus, open brackets, 3 plus 2i. And so these are the two uh, square roots of the complex number 5 plus 12i. So I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, thank you.